<laughs> sorry yeah i muted <laughs> i have to remember to unmute and mute sorry uh please let me know if you can hear me well <laughs> and <laughs> and also if you can see this notepad <laughs> all right so let's get started <laughs> so hiccups right this is a uh, live streaming hiccup so as you know this is a subject object and verb color and this is miscellaneous work all right thank you so much atria and j uh, i r 14 i welcome to the, the live chat nice okay so are you happy now finally happy now are you you know this is english i think there should be a space i don't know why there is no space here i just realized that I don't know what happened. 뭐 그대로야 난. What's the mean? Try to answer as much as you can. 뭐 그대로야 난. So 뭐 in this case, I think it's more like interjection word. As in, you're not gonna translate this. Sometimes we add 뭐. So 뭐 is usually means what, right? But in this case, I don't think you need to interpret this as what. Let's figure out. So I just made the space here. Okay. 뭐 그대로야 난. 그대로. 그대로야. If you look up the verb 그대로야. Let me underline better. 그대로야. 그대로다. I think we're gonna see here 이대로. They're pretty much the same thing. 그대로. 이대로. 그대로. This is the way it is, as it is, as, in, as it is, that way. Okay. Hi, Maha. As it is, that way. As it is, this way. 그대로, 이대로. But normally, we just interpret it as as it is. As it is, I. So, I am as it is. So, maybe I'm going to interpret more as I'm just as it is. I'm just as it is. So, really depends on the context. More could be interpreted differently. You don't have to include this one in the interpretation. I'm just going to say just. I'm just as it is. 다 잃어버린 것 같아. 다 everything 잃어버리다. So look up the verb 잃어버리다. Ideruya. Ya is be verb. Okay. So Ideruya, they're used together. So maybe let me underline different color. Ya. Think of it as be verb. So maybe Kudero, think of it as object. Kudero,ya as in to be as it is. Okay. Ido porida. This is to lose. That's right. By having n becomes adjective, describing cut. This becomes a noun, right? Kata to seem, to be same. So you can think of it as to be same, or it seems. It seems like this. It seems like I lost everything. So maybe Thai is object. I thought that Ta is a subject, but I lost everything. That makes more sense. Mm -hmm. It seems like I is omitted. I lost everything. Makes sense. So, 모든 게 맘대로 왔다가 I see a conjunction. Which conjunction do you see? 왔다가, right? 
다가 이렇게 so 모든 게 subject because k is c o r plus subject particle combined everything is subject 맘대로 this is 마음 shortened version of 마음 마음대로 is the same thing 맘대로 대로 we say here 대로 right as it is as the heart goes as your mind goes so hibernating say as one pleases yeah so it depends on how you want to interpret they all make sense as your heart goes 왔다가 오다 verb past tense right 오다 which is to come so everything came as the heart goes as one pleases 왔다가 다가 means while or it could be and then I feel like in this case it's more like and then do you agree? so everything came and then 인사도 없이 떠나 인사도 없이 떠나 없이 here this means what? that's right without even without even saying goodbye so inside is actually can be a goodbye or saying hi it could be anything means greeting or saying bye Inza. okay in this case it's more like saying goodbye right without even saying a goodbye tona so this verb tonada leave okay everything came as one pleases and then leaves without saying a goodbye 이대로는 무엇, 무엇도 사랑하고 싶지 않아 이대로는 again as it is this way 이대로는 는 even though this is subject particle it may be a comparison particle okay as for as it is if it goes that way okay not the other way as for this way okay 무엇도 무엇도 I think this is more like object based on the verb okay 무엇도 what's the mean 무엇 is the same thing as 뭐 도 by having 도 in this case you can think of this one whole thing together as anything Okay, anything, 무엇도, even a thing, okay, 사랑하다 verb, because of this verb, I think that this part is an object, because it means to love, okay, 사랑하다, to love, by having 고 싶다, if you have verb root plus 고 십, it means one two. But at the end, negation, 지 않아. As for this way, I don't want to love anything. 이대로는 무엇도 사랑하고 싶지 않아. 네? 다 해질, 해질 대로 해져버린 기억 속을 여행해. 다 해질 대로 해져버린 This one is more like an expression Again, 대로 We keep seeing 대로 대로, 대로, 대로 <laughs> But when you see a verb repeating It's more like an expression, I think Correct me if I'm wrong If you saw this one in another place But 다 해지다 And this becomes an adjective 
해지대로. So look up the verb 해지다. Okay. And then 다 is a subject based on this verb. 다 해지다. Everything this one wears out. 옷이 해졌어요. My shirt is worn out. Okay, 해지다. It's not the sun goes down. 해지다. It's the sun goes down. In this case, 해지다 is together as one verb, meaning to wear out. Instead of more, uh, when do you use? Um, normally, this is more common to say. 뭐. Okay? But when you see 무엇도, having to, as one word for anything, we're gonna say 무엇도, rather than 모두. 모두 sounds a little weird. 이대로는 모두 사랑하고 싶지 않아. It's weird. 무엇도, they go together. But when I say 뭐 좋아해요, that's better. Uh, 뭐 좋아해요, what do you like? Okay, instead of 무엇 좋아해요. Okay. Hello, Tiffany, stay my day. You're not late too much. Thank you so much for joining the live. So, going back, 다 해질대로 해져버린. It repeats. 해질대로 해져버리다. This verb, 해져버리다. When you see 버리다 as part of the verb, it doesn't mean throw away. Okay? 버리다 by itself. 쓰레기를 버리다. Throw away trash. Okay? 해져 is conjugated from 해지다. It means just happened. Hi, Rodrigo. Just happened, right? The verb just happened without your intention. Normally, that's what implies as parida with another verb. So something wears out, this becomes an adjective describing, in this case, 기억. Okay, so going back here, 다 해질 대로 해져버린. I'm gonna think of it as uh, something wears out as possibly as it could. Something wears out as possibly as it could, as the way all wears out. It means something is wearing out as possibly as it could. Okay? Hello, Diane. 누구엔? 기억 속을 여행해. Mm -hmm. 기억. 기억 속을. I'm gonna use object color. Inside something, 을, object particle, 기억 속, 기억 속. 기억하다 is to remember as a verb. 기억, it is memory. Inside the memory, 여행해, it's poetic. How can you 여행해 inside the memory? It's just poetic. 여행하다 is travel. Travel inside the memory that is worn out as possibly as it could. It means it's completely worn out, like Rachel said. Okay, going back. 모든 게 마음대로 왔다가 인사도 없이 떠나. Everything came as one please and then without saying a goodbye and leaves. Okay, 이대로는 무엇도 사랑하고 싶지 않아. As for this way, I don't want to love anything. 다 해질 대로 해져버린 기억 속을 여행해. I travel inside memory that's worn out as possibly as it could. Oh, they use 을 instead of 에. Yeah, exactly. So, sometimes, <laughs> 여행 속에 여행해. Yeah, I know. Because normally in English, you're gonna think of this as location, right? Travel somewhere, right? But in Korean, 
When you use 여행하다 verb, you, you could actually use an object as a location. If I say, I travel to Korea. 한국에 여행 가요. I'm gonna use 여행 가요. 한국으로, technically. Uh, let me pull out a new blanket. Uh, that's a good question. Okay. 여행하다 to travel oh. okay. 여행가다 okay. to go travel it's both the same thing 여행가다 is also travel but it has meaning of go travel if I use 여행 가다, I'm gonna say 한국에. I'm gonna go to South Korea and travel. 한국에 여행 가요. If I say 한국에 여행해요, it sounds a little weird. 여행 하다, it's more like an action here, and you could allow an object as a location. So, 한국을 여행해요. Or if you say 한국에서, let's say 한국에서 여행하다. Actually, you could say 한국에서. 한국에서 여행해요. She travels so much in the memory that is worn out. Mm -hmm. So, 여행하다, either you use as a specific location particle, uh, specific location particle, or you could have object particle. Travel this place, travel at that location. Or in this case, 한국에, this is working as to. 여행가다, 한국에 여행가요. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys more than what it is. <laughs> so if I say 태국에 여행 갔어요. 저 어렸을 때 태국에 여행 갔어요. When I was young, I went to Thailand to travel. 한국에, 아, 태국에 여행 갔어요. This. Okay. 이번 연도에 한국에 여행 갈 거예요. 한국에 여행 갈 거예요. I will travel to South Korea this year. But if I say, 이번 연도에 한국을 여행할 거예요. Or, 한국에서 여행할 거예요. 한국에서. It, it is too specific. Maybe I'm not going to use this one in that case. In the future tense. I guess it's, it has to go case by case as always. But you could use object particle. 우리는 오렌지 태양 아래. 그림자 없이 함께 춤을 춰. 정해진 이별 따위는 없어. 아름다웠던 그 기억에서 만나. Forever young. Okay. So I'm gonna write here. This is three and four. Three, four. And then four plus two. Okay. 우리는. 우리는 오렌지 태양 아래. 우리는. We, we subject particle, 오렌지 태양 아래. <laughs> yeah, it's very poetic. 아래 means under. That's right. Under what? Orange sun. 오렌지 태양 아래. So I guess the sun looks like orange. 오렌지 태양 아래, 그림자 없이. Again, 없이, without. Without what? Kurimja is a shadow. Shadow. Hamke together. Chumu cho. Chum object particle. Chuda verb. This is chuda to dance. Okay. 
okay so by having am underneath to the verb root that becomes a noun so we say dance a dance 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 let's dance a dance <laughs> 춤을 춰 so which means we dance dance together without shadow under the orange sun but i feel like why would they say without shadow i think it comes down to scientific theory or fact when you don't have shadow it's because the sun is right above you it means like during the day so exactly where you see uh, she's dancing right meaning the sun is right above your head so there is no shadow that's right 춤추다 꿈꾸다 so they're all repeating 잠자다 right sleep but sleep it's fun 정해진 이별 따위는 없어 정해진 이별 따위는 없어 정해지다 verb describing 이별 따위는 okay. 는 없어 okay Rachel <laughs> any relation to what we are saying <laughs> that's funny uh, 정해진 정해지다 to become what? set so this verb 정하다 it means to determine having 지다 as a part of the verb it means to be passively done to become determined to be set to be set, something is determined. 이별. 이별 is farewell. Okay, 이별 farewell. 따위. 따위 is not the same as 따기. 따기 is like slapping on your face. 따위 is etc. So farewell etc. Such as. Uh, Farewell, what not, maybe? 없어. Not exist. So there is no farewell, what not. But what kind of farewell? Farewell that is, is determined. 정해진 이별 따위는 없어. Meaning, nothing is determined. Even the farewell. 아름다웠던 그 기억에서 만나. 아름다웠던 So this is the verb 아름답다 past tense adjective 아름답다 Okay becomes 아름다웠던 past tense adjective 그 기억 the memory specific location inside inside the memory that used to be beautiful manna meet this implies that maybe there is let manna let's meet inside the memory that used to be beautiful or it means just we meet we meet there really depends on how you want to interpret either let or not let uh, so let's see there is no farewell such things or such things that is determined we meet inside the memory that used to be beautiful I like that so let's go over the first part again 우리는 오렌지 태양 아래 그림자 없이 함께 춤을 춰 we dance the dance together without shadow under the orange sun 정해진 이별 따위는 없어. There is no such thing as a farewell that's determined. 아름다웠던 그 기억에서 만나. We meet or let's meet inside the memory that used to be beautiful, forever young. Okay, I'm gonna play this part. 
Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forever we young. Ooh, okay, we know that. So I guess we don't have to really go open that little thing. 이런 악몽이라면 영영 깨지 않을게. Only one sentence left. 이런 악몽이라면 이런 악몽 I'm gonna use object because I know this is be verb 이라면 라면 conjunction 이런 이런 is what? This kind of 저런 that kind of 그런 again that kind of but 저 has a meaning of like a further there 이 here location wise 그 the specifying something 그런 거 that kind of thing that we know of 이런 this kind of nightmare if it is 라면 hypothetical if if it were to be oh I see 이런 by itself yeah damn it right 이런 but it's very soft to swear 이런 yeah 이런 악몽이라면 if it were to be this kind of nightmare 영영 깨지 않을게 영영 forever same as 영원히 깨다지 않다 and 을게 so this is future tense negation 깨다 verb look up the verb 깨다 mm-hmm 영원히 영영 I feel like 영원히 is more commonly used. 영영, I don't, I don't hear or see it as often. Yeah, 깨다, wake up. That's right. I won't, right? This is negation. I won't wake up forever if it were to be this kind of nightmare. But does it make sense? If it is a nightmare, don't you want to wake up? Or because this is a reality? Hmm, poetic. What do you guys think? Is she referring to Angmong nightmare as something that she's actually experiencing? That's why she doesn't want to wake up from the dream? No clue. But anyway. It, it is what it is. 이런 악몽이라면 영영 깨지 않을게. If it were to be this kind of nightmare, I won't wake up forever. It's a good nightmare. <laughs> That's funny. I actually had a nightmare last night. Maybe because even if it's bad, she doesn't want to wake up. Hmm. Beautiful nightmare. Oh, the memory, right? Okay, I'm gonna play this part. Number four. 섬 그래, 여긴 섬. So this is the uh, featuring by Suga, right? The BTS guy, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, being forever young is a nightmare. Oh, 섬 그래. 여긴 섬, 서로가 만든 작은 섬. This is rapping. That's why a lot of repetition. 섬 그래 여긴 섬, 서로가 만든 작은 섬. Yeah, um, forever young. 영원이란 말은 모래 섬. Wow, 섬 그래. This is what? Feel like island. That's right. And then, 여긴 섬. Here, subject, particle, some, island. I feel like there should be a comma in between. Some, 그래. You're right, it's an island. 여긴 섬, here is an island. 서로가 만든 작은 섬. 
So be verb is missing. It is the island, right? 서로가 만든 섬. 서로가 만든 작은 섬. It is the island. What kind of island? 작은, small island. But has more adjective. This is adjective clause. 만들다 becomes 만든. So look up the verb 만들다. To make. But who made? 서로가. Each other. We made but each other. The small island that each other made. Yeah, 음, forever young. 영원이란 말은 모래성. So be verb is missing, maybe. It is 모래성. Okay. 영원이란 말은 모래성. 영원이란 말은 has subject particle. But what kind of 말? 직접적으로 어, 서로 means each other. It doesn't mean the same thing as 직접적으로 or 자기로. 서로 is a relationship, each other. 직접적으로, 직접 means directly. 자기 has meaning of self. Okay? 직접적으로, directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. 직접 만났어요. I met somebody in person. 직접. I went there and met. 직접 만났어요. Or, how about 스스로? 스스로 하다. I do something myself. As in, I had motivation to do something. 스스로 하다. I took the initiative to do it by myself. 스스로. 자기 means self, just self. Okay? 영원이란 말은 모래석. 영, 영원. This is the object. Okay? This is what? Eternity. 영원. 스스로? By yourself as well? It has meaning of you took the initiative. 이란 말, 이란, 이라는, right? It's from 이라는. What's that mean? The word that's called, to be called. Okay? The word that's called eternity is 모래성. What's 모래성 means? 모래, two words. 모래성. 모래, sand. 성, castle. Sand, castle. 영원이란 말은 모래성. I'm not too sure. It's too poetic. It's the sand castle, but what? The word that's called eternity. Is sand castle. Okay. 작별은 마치 재난 문화 아 문자 같지. 작별은 작별은 subject particle. 작별. This is another word for farewell. Okay. Earlier we saw 이별. They're interchangeably used. But I had to look it up in case maybe Chinese character is associated to each different syllable. 이별 has meaning of without. 작별, 작 has meaning of become. 작별. So you say goodbye to become someone else. And 이별 is like you say goodbye because you're going to be without someone. I'm not too sure. Anyway, in Korean, they're interchangeably used. 작별, 이별. So farewell, subject particle, 마치. As if 마치 is related to 같이. It's like as if. Okay? 지, 
confirmation. What's like? 재난 문자. 재난 문자. 재난 means what? 문자, text. Okay? 문자 하다. 친구한테 문자 해요. I text my friend. Okay? 마치 as if it's like digested text. Farewell is like as if digested text. 그림과 같이 맞이하는 아침. Okay, I pronounce it as C H. 같이. 그림과 같이. It's like with. In English, you're gonna say same as. Okay, it's like what? 그리움. This is the noun from 그립다. Okay, so 그립다 becomes 그리, 그리, 우. Right? You remove 다 when you add other thing, conjugate to something. B becomes omitted and add 우. By having M becomes a noun. 그리움. Longing for, missing. 재난 is disaster. Okay? Yawning. I like that. It's like same as yawning for something. 맞이하는. This is the adjective describing 아침. 맞이하다 verb. And then 아침 means morning that something greets. 맞이하다. Face or greets. Same as 그리움. Missing something. 그림과 그리움과 같이 맞이하는 아침. So meaning you miss somebody in the morning. As you greet the morning, you miss something, I guess. 서로가 이 영겁을 지나 꼭이 섬에서 다시 만나. 서로가 each other subject particle. Yeah. This part is confusing because it's poetic, right? 그림과 같이 맞이하는 아침. I think they wanted to have some kind of rhyme, right? 같이 아침. <laughs> so, 맞이하는 아침. So, the morning that you greet. But it's like also missing someone. 그리움. 그리움 is from 그립다. To miss someone. Or something. 한국이 그리워요. I miss Korea. Or 그 친구가 그리워. I miss the friend. Okay? So, the morning that we greet, it's like missing. Missing someone or something. Okay? 서로가 이 영겁을 지나 꼭이 섬에서 다시 만나. Each other we 지나다. 지나다 verb. But 지나다 이 영겁을 을 object particle 영겁 is not a really common word it means also eternity same it's not common I don't think I ever seen anyone using 영겁 yeah 영겁 is uh, eternity 지나다 pass we pass Eternity, this eternity, and then 꼭이 섬에서 다시 만나. 꼭, definitely, 이 섬에서, this location, this island, at the location, 다시, what? Again, 만나, we. We meet again in this island, definitely. 
Okay, so let's go back. I know this is a little poetic. 섬 그래 여긴 섬. Especially when you're rapping, they omit a lot of words. So it's very abbreviated. Yeah, island, yeah. Here is the island. 서로가 만든 작은 섬. It's the island, small island that we made. Yeah, um, forever young. 영원이란 말은 모래서. It's like sand castle. What? The word that is called eternity. Oh, I think I understand. 영원이란 말은 모래서. Is it because 모래서, castle, sand castle, doesn't really last. It's the same castle that you make temporarily. Sand is not lasting ever. So, I don't know what you guys think. 영원이란 말은 모래서. So, this word is actually not lasting. Forever, whenever people say forever young, the eternity, it actually doesn't mean it's gonna be like that. It's like temporary. Is that what it means? 작별은 마치 재난문자 같지. Farewell is like as if digested text. 그림과 같이 맞이하는 아침. The morning that we greet is like missing someone. 서로가 이 연겁이 지나 꼭이 섬에서 다시 만나. We pass this eternity. We pass this eternity and then Definitely, let's meet again in this island. So I think this part is actually almost the same as the previous one. Okay, but anyway, let's start with 지나는 날, 지나듯 날 위로하던 누구의 말대로 고자. Jinada verb, we already know, to pass. Dut has a meaning of as if as well. Tushi. Sometimes you see it as tushi, jinadushi, jinadut, as if something's passing by. Jinadut, nae wiro hada. Wiro hada verb is related to nal. Bachi is used not after for tut tut is used after verb right but machi normally it's used before and by itself machi you can add machi here machi chinade machi chinade nai wiro hada wiro hada verb look up the verb wiro hada Done. Past tense adjective describing what comes after. 누구의 말대로. 대로 again. The way someone's what? Word. Console. That's right. Someone's word that used to console me as if it's just passing by. 고작. 고작, what's that? No more than that. No more than that. Or at most. You can look up the word in neighbor. This is the best explanation. 고작, at most. 한 뼘짜리 추억을 잊는 게참 쉽지 않아. 한 뼘짜리, 한 뼘. 한 is what? One. Same as hana. It's shortened to han because pyeom is counting unit. It's a, like a palm span. Han pyeom. Okay? So it doesn't mean it's large, it's small. Okay? Han pyeom chari. Chari. It's words, right? Words, the one span. This is like small, tiny amount. 추억을 okay. The small, short period of 추억 That's right. 
Is it a maniac and mian? That's right. Maniac. You mean maniac, right? Mm hmm. 추억을 memory. We talked about 기억. 기억 is memory. 추억 is nostalgic memory. What you miss about. 어, 제 한국의 추억은 so nostalgic memory about South Korea. Okay? So this is nostalgic memory. 있는 게 있다. 있다 verb to forget. I used to be confused even when I was, uh, you know, I'm Korean still. But I used to be confused when I was ki itta and ilta. This is to forget. Ilta to lose, right? Forget nostalgic memory. Nun adjective describing this. So meaning forgetting. Forgetting this. But K is technically subject, right? Because this is from ko plus subject particle. So this forgetting nostalgic memory, what? 참 쉽지 않아. 참 genuinely 쉽지 않아. 쉽다, easy, but not easy. It's not genuinely easy to forget what? Nostalgic memory, what kind of memory? One spent words. So short period of time of nostalgic memory. But it's not easy to forget. 시간이 지나도 여전히 날 붙드는 그곳에 시간이 Subject particle time 지나도 This is the same verb as this. The first one, pass by. When time passes by, to, what's that mean? To, conjunction. 시간이 지나도, even though, even though time passes by, 여전히, still. 날 붙드는 그곳에, 날, me, because na plus r underneath is me, right? 붙드는. Can you guess what the dictionary form of this? 붙드는 adjective, describing 그곳. 붙드다, okay? So r is omitted. 붙드다. Look up the verb 붙드다 to hang on to something. Hold on to. Yeah, hang on to something. So hang on to me, the place. In the place. At the place. 시간이 지나도 여전히 날 붙드는 그곳에. Even though time passes by, still the place that holds on to me. Okay, I mean, it's poetic. So let's begin from here. 지나듯 날 위로하다 누구의 말대로 고작 한 뼘짜리 추억을 잊는 게참 쉽지 않아. So I guess I'm gonna translate this together. It's not easy. It's not really easy to forget one spent worth of nostalgic memory. At most. Like the like someone's saying, what kind of saying? Or what kind of someone who used to console me just like it passing. It's passing. 붙이다 아니요. 붙들다. Hang on to. Buddha. Okay. So this means that it's not really easy. Somebody said, yeah. It's not easy to forget Nasaj memory. 
and even the time passes by, the place holds on to me, meaning he still or she still thinks about the place, right? So this part is exactly the same thing as number three, but only one difference. This. Earlier it was Ibir. Ibir, farewell. In this case, Annyeong. Hello. Earlier, Ibir, there is no such thing as a farewell that's determined. Here, there is no such thing that hello that's determined. Mm -hmm. It's never easy to let go of memories. That's right. But I do find that time, time kind of heals. But when you remember, you think about it again. <laughs> That's why it's memory. All right. So this is. Okay, let's we start from here. 우리는 서류를 배고 누워 슬프지 않은 이야기를 나눠 우울한 결말 따위는 없어. 난 영원히 널이 기억에서 만나. I think this is the last part of this. Song, Jari is worse. That's right. Mm -hmm. You mean Jari, right? Tiffany, you mean Jari. One day. Sit. Jari anja. Sit in your seat. <laughs> Jari anja. The seat. Jari. Worth. Cup? Oh, you mean like this cup? Ne? But it really depends on the context. You cannot always say one equals the other. It really depends on the context. But I think you mean this cup, right? It means we're like price. Okay? 우리는 서로를 배고 누워. 우리는 We as a subject 서로를 배고 누워 배답을 고 누워 서로를 배고 누워 What's the mean? 우리는 we each other 배답을 배다, and then this word, 눕다. Okay. 배다, it is cut. But I feel like it does mean it's cut. Do you know 베개? We say 베개를 배다, pillow. Pillow. Uh, let me look it up. Peda I actually wrote as a cut, but I feel like it's not cut anymore. It means just laying on top of each other. Because we say pegiri peda. Rest on someone's head on. Yeah, that's right. When you look up peda, there is a second meaning in neighbor. It's normally it means cut. Karebeda, you cut two knife, right? Karebeda. Pege, pege beda means you lean on someone's head. In this case, pege. Like a beda, you lean against each other. We lean against each other and then nuo, lay down. Cut sounds like a horror, horror uh, scene. I think it's a very beautiful song. It's not horror song. <laughs> so we lean against each other's head. 배, 서로를 배고 누워. Lay down. 슬프지 않은 이야기를 나눠. 슬프다. 지 않은. Negation. Having adjective. Describing 이야기. And 나누다 verb. So let's start with. Yeah, plot twist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> complete change. But it happens in Korean movies often, right? Plot twist. Ooh. 
Apparently that happens in the Parasite movie at the end. 슬프다, sad, to be sad. 지 않다, not sad. 이야기 이야기 is same meaning as 얘기. Normally you're gonna see it as 얘기. 얘기하다, okay? 얘기. This is a story. Okay? Hey, Maitri. Hello. Thanks for joining the live. 나누다. This verb, it goes well with 얘기 or 대화. 나누다, right? Means split. When you split stories or when you split 대화, you can normally see it as 대화를 나누다, meaning have conversation. In English, you can interpret it as have conversation or 음식을 나누다. That's right. Share food. You split the food and share. Right? Okay. 음식을 나누다. 대화를 나누다. You split as in have conversation. Here, have stories. That's not sad. 우울한 결말 따위는 없어. 우울한. 우울하다 볼. Adjective, 결말. What is 우울하다? 아, 나 우울해. 아, I'm depressed. 우울하지 않아. 저는 절대 우울하지 않아. Never depressed. 우울한, depressed, 결말. 따위는. 따위, we learned earlier. Such things. Okay, etc. Such things. 결말. Ending. It's the same format. There is no such thing as ending. What kind of ending? Depressed ending. 우울한 결말 따위는 없어. There is no such thing that is depressed ending. 난 영원히 널이 기억에서 만나. 난 I will subject particle 영원히. Right? Earlier we said 영영, 영원히, forever. I feel like this is more common, forever. 널, you as object, 너 plus R. It could be 너를, but shorten to 널, okay? You as object, 이 기억에서 in this memory 만나. Meet, right? I think it's a similar format. 우리는 서로를 배고 누워. We lean against each other and then what? And lay down. 슬프지 않은 이야기를 나눠. We share, we split stories. That's not sad. 우울한 결말 따위는 없어. There is no such thing as depressed ending. 난 영원히 널이 기억에서 만나. I meet you forever in this memory. Forever young. Okay? I guess this part is the same thing as number four. Ooh, 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 right? 이런 악몽이라면 영영 깨지 않을게. If it were to be this kind of nightmare, I won't wake up forever. Right? Yeah, that's right. Apparently, some people say when me leave the place, I mean, it really depends on what kind of religion or belief system you have. It's not like you're going to leave. It's just not being seen as a physical body. I know it's kind of creepy, but I guess maybe that's why it still always stays in your head. Yeah, nukta, to lay down. But I guess it really depends on if you believe the afterlife, right? Okay, so I'm gonna play this the last part. Let 침울하다, 우울하다. I guess 침울하다 is more like sad. 우울하다 is more like depressed. But wait, in the clip, did she lose her lizard? Where? Lizard? Was it lizard? 
I was busy with just dancing and singing. For a while, we lost you, but it's back. Okay. For a while? How long? Wow. No way. Did she lose her leader? I'm kind of curious. Oh, oh, that dragon. I see. Oh, you mean the dragon, not the lizard? <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to have to rewatch the music video. You can find the music video link and also full lyrics in the description down below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment down below after the live streaming is over. If you like this kind of learning format, always support me. I'm happy. You know, I'm happy you guys support me so much. And tomorrow there will be a live streaming at 12 p.m. Eastern time because it's the weekend. Right? So if you want to request specific song or a certain content, look, uh, request in the comment down below. Tomorrow I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do whether we continue on with lyrics or article or who knows maybe webtoon back to webtoon okay so thanks for joining the live thanks for sticking around and i really enjoyed doing the live streaming for all of you and see you tomorrow Annyeong.